Hello, my name is Fox, and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. The Las Vegas Open took place in Las Vegas, USA, from the 27th to the 29th of January, 2023. The tournament had six rounds with 25 factions, 960 players, and a massive 5,527 games. The organizers state that it was the biggest 40k tournament ever. Honestly, I don't disagree. I personally haven't seen a larger one. The top eight had a playoff, hence why they have played more games. Jack Harbour won the tournament with their Blood Angels. Sean Naden and his Goth Orcs came second, with Matt Morisoli running Chaos Demons in third and Mike Porter with their Harlequins in fourth. Big congratulations to all these players, and apologies for any poor pronunciation of their names. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction, with 14.48% of all players taking them. Chaos Space Marines are the second most popular faction on 7.19%, followed by Tyrannies on 6.88%. It is interesting to see that as the tournament is using Nephilim rules, the popularity is quite similar to the December stats. It takes our resident stat guru and Ultramarine fanboy Phyllis Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour with the key at the bottom of the screen. Chaos Mix top the win rates with their 13 players getting a win rate of 59.2%. Harlequins come next on 57.9%, followed by Tyrannies on 55.8%. As stated, the LVO was using all of the old rules, therefore the tournament is a very good indicator of what factions were top of the meta at the end of Nephilim. Due to this, we see a lot of the factions that were doing well at the end of Nephilim, over a 50% win rate. The third place finisher, Chaos Demons, get a win rate of 53.1%, with the second place finisher, Orts, get a 51.8% win rate. The most popular faction, Space Marines, achieve an overall win rate of 43.7%, which includes the tournament winner and their Blood Angels. The Blood Angels were the best performing Space Marine chapter at the end of Nephilim, so it's not a surprise that if any Space Marine chapter would win such a massive tournament, it would be the Blood Angels. Still, I must say, I am delighted that Jack Harper managed to bring such great glory to Sanguinius. I am also ever so slightly biased. The two Night Lords players topped the known warbands with a win rate of 66.7%. The Emperor's Children, who are the most played of the known legions, come next with a win rate of 52.8%. The 13 Black Legion players get a win rate of 46.7%, with the 5 Iron Warriors players getting a win rate of 40%. The tournament winners Blood Angels come top of the win rates with 52.2%. They were also the most played chapter by a good margin, suggesting that people agree with me that the Blood Angels were considered to be the best chapter at the end of Nephilim. The Space Marines overall struggle at the end of Nephilim, leading to the vast majority of chapters having a win rate below 50%. The second most played chapter, the Dark Angels, get a win rate of 41.7%, just behind the third most played chapter, Space Wolves, who get a win rate of 43.1%. Fearless's favourite Blue Boys Ultramarines get a win rate of 37%, with 9 players taking them. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.